Alright, so I'm playing uh, Space Engineers here, which is a kind of early access game on Steam. I got it to write some impressions about. I just wanted to make a quick little video showing off how to actually build a spaceship. I, I find this game very fascinating. Um, it's kind of like, I want to say Minecraft, but a little more advanced and with space guys. So basically, you can have like a station here. I kind of turned my station into a weird ship thing for some reason. I, I don't know. Okay, I want that on. Jetpack off. Okay. So now we're walking around. Uh, you can go like between third and zoom in and all that. I like first person. So here's one of the ships I made. It's a little ship. Uh, I actually just learned this last night. It only took about half an hour for me to actually get going. And then you can build your little ships and I'll teach you how to. So we're just gonna... Uh, one thing I notice is like flying is a bit hard. I don't know. I'll have to go to third person for me to actually understand anything. So, I think this one's going to have a little more power than my other one did, or is available, because I packed it with um, kind of like cores and stuff. My one issue, though, is like landing. I'm terrible at landing, so we don't want my ship to disappear, so, ah, oh, crap. Alright, now that we've gotten everything out of the way, uh, you should notice that this is, um, this is all creative. They don't really have too much of a survival mode build yet. So you press G, and then you get your array of building blocks. So we're going to create a new small ship right there. So that's the start of our small ship. Try not to knock it or it will rotate around. Um, yeah, so here we go. So basically your one block will dynamically change depending if it's small ship or big ship. Uh, certain items can only be available for, you know, big ships, small ships. This is a bit of like my docking station that I really need to revamp and redo so landing is better. Um, but we're just going to turn on jetpack. And I'm going to make a, I don't know, blue ship. So we'll get rid of that so that we actually have the color that we want. And we're just basically, right now I'm going to start off by building the um, kind of like cockpit area. So that's two. If it's on here it looks like this because it's a big ship, but if it's on here it's a small one. So there you go. So that's your cockpit. cockpit. And that's where you actually will be flying from. Um, you know, they don't have to be cool, but they need to work these things. You can make them fancy afterwards, but... I like to give it a lot of power so that it's actually very, you know, kind of strong. So I'm just going to leave out a bit of a hollowed core, if that makes any sense to anyone. And then we're going to line it with kind of power cores. And then... Okay, we'll get rid of this one, this one. Uh, flying just takes like a second to learn. After a while, you get like totally used to the whole movements. It's the ship flying that still gets me a little bit. Okay. And quite honestly, you could build this however you want. I need better gravity here, obviously, but you can build gravity on these big ships and the space stations. Maybe I'll do a video thing on that. Okay. So, anyways, so I already have a small reactor or regular reactor kind of loaded up. And we're just going to line this thing with, you know, reactors. Wish it would stop moving so much. Jeez, I got my Xeon. There we go. That's why. Because my dampers were off. Dampers basically keep you like that. So we've lined this thing with, uh, with cores here. And it's got like an auto save on that. Like, whatever. So we're just going to cover these up because we don't want them to get damaged or something. I imagine in the future there's going to be like, you know, enemies and stuff killing you or people online. I'm pretty sure that's being added after. It's a nice black strip there. So here we got like basically just a basic thing. Um, we can add like rockets, but I want to do, uh, just do Gatling guns. Uh -huh. I'll we'll just put those on the front, you know, just so you can kind of see where they're shooting. You know, like the straight on thing. I also suggest maybe some headlights. Those would be nice. And basically we got, you know, a powered ship. It's a lot about electricity. Uh, now we have to add the actual reactors, which is... I got four here. And we can switch them around by using uh, the delete or insert and such. And we're just gonna... I don't know, this should be fine, I, I think. It'll give us a lot of power. Power, Probably more power than we need. Gyroscopes, and let's just add... No, probably not here, it's not a good idea. Get rid of two of these cores, add some gyroscopes just to keep the ship oriented. 
or, you know, that's what I suggest they are, but anyways. Add some of these flaps down. And bam! You got a pretty badass looking ship here, I think. Works pretty well. Um, the only other thing you might want to add is landing gear, which is nine. You know, it looks like this. I say screw it, you'd have to go underneath. You actually have to move these blocks because they were interfering with it. But other than that, yeah, we have a ship. Uh, let's get ready to test this out. So it's T to enter. See, we're good on power usage. You got all our info in there. Flies around pretty good. So we got no weapon selected. Uh, yeah. So from here, we can press K and go to a control panel, and we can turn on or off all the different things. So select the lights on, 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 on. See, it's got all the different things. You can turn them on and off if they're damaged and such. It's just a really neat system. And we're actually flying pretty good. See, there's a station all the way over there. We got good power usage. And that's how to build a uh, small ship. You can change it however you like. Just remember, I had like thrusters and the reactor cores. If you want to see big ship tutorial thingy, let me know and I'll get cracking on that.